Duane syndrome is a rare genetic disorder that causes a misalignment of eyes. In Duane syndrome, the eye muscles get jumbled, and the movement of the eye is limited in certain directions. There are three types of Duane syndrome, with the most common being type 1, which hindered the eye's ability to move outward. Duane syndrome usually just affects one eye, but it can sometimes affect both. The left eye is more likely to be affected than the right. Mutations in the CHN1 gene are associated with Duane syndrome. Direct sequencing of the CHN1 gene is available as a clinical test. Duane syndrome can also be diagnosed through an ocular or eye exam. When Duane syndrome is suspected, the eye examination is given with special attention to the presence of ocular malformations. Exact measurements of the ocular misalignment, ocular range of motion, head turn, eyeball retraction, and eye opening size are noted. If you have Duane syndrome type 1, the ability to move the affected eyes outward is limited, but moving the eyes inward is normal. If you have Duane syndrome type 2, the ability to move the affected eyes inward is limited, but moving the eyes outward is normal. If you have Duane syndrome type 3, the ability to move the affected eyes both inward and outward is limited. Possible treatments may include wearing glasses, contact lenses, or eye muscle surgery. Though the majority of people with Duane syndrome do not need surgery, surgery may be performed to reduce severe misalignment of the eyes, improve an intolerable head position, or to fix displacement of the eyeball within the eye socket. Sadly, surgery does not restore function to the affected eye muscles. Duane syndrome does not affect the patient's lifespan. The patient will have a regular life. As of now, there is not much information about the current research of Duane syndrome. Families can find help at support organizations as shown on the screen right now. This information will also be available in the description down below. The sources for all the information about Duane syndrome will also be in the description below. Okay, that's all for this video. I hope you learned something new about Duane syndrome.